Hey y'all, welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel. Today we're going to be working on adjusting the brakes of the CJ2A here on the drum brakes, uh, getting them uh, good and tight like they need to be. So uh, here, here it is. We have a little slot in these. Um, there's several videos out there on how to do it. Um, so we're going to take uh, advantage of the slot. Um, but uh, if you don't have the slot, very similar uh, process, you just don't use feeler gauges. You just get it to where it stops and then you back it off so it's not dragging. And so it's not as accurate as the method we'll be using, but it's totally and completely uh, legit the way it is. It may not be perfect in, in, in it, but it works. So some of the tools you'll need, you'll need a, a regular 9 16 wrench flashlight feeler gauges I got a three quarters offset this is an old wrench right here uh, you need something with a pretty deep offset I have this one I've seen other folks make it out of an old three quarters and then they'll grind down uh, the uh, box end and then we also have this wrench right here this is the adjuster wrench that has a quarter and three sixteenths on each side uh, I actually got this from Victoria British uh, LTD uh, I'll try to link the um, part number in the description below, but it has a 3 16th side and a quarter inch side. Uh, th they make them, uh, well they used to be made uh, by Snap-on and, and Mac and some other uh, tool companies. Uh, if you can find them, they're very expensive, 80 plus dollars on eBay, even more. Uh, I paid approximately $12 for this and it's a pretty much exactly what you need uh, this is a spoke wrench for an old MG uh, but it works and so hey that's the name of the game uh, to sometimes it's just all about it working so yeah would love to have a snap on Nah, I can't justify 80 90 bucks for it this is kind of the the choice you got you, you could probably make a, a regular wrench work but this is has the deep um, let me show it to you. It has the deep, deep uh, mouth to it, so it really grabs onto that. Don't use vice grips; it will round off your your um, eccentrics, and you'll have problems later on. So uh, that's the way to go. We're going to start at the uh, forward edge, top top forward edge, and, and uh, adjust this one. Then we'll do the trailing uh front or trailing top one and then we'll go on the bottom do the uh bottom leading and then the bottom trailing so you need your 9 16 wrench here and uh i'm gonna kind of look in here and uh I'm just gonna loosen well we're actually gonna tighten it up because i had it pretty pretty loose uh and then we're just gonna spin it and uh i'll make sure i'm on the right side and uh, just going to spin that until, until uh, I can feel a little resistance. Going to need to crack that open a little bit. And the reason why uh, I'm just trying to keep that a little tight is just so um, uh, I don't have to do 500 spins. All right, so you hear that? So it's starting to drag a little bit, and that's what we want. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look in that hole right there and see where our pad starts. And it's right there. And that's the hole we're going to use. It's eight thousandths uh, on the top. And right now, it's dragging, so it doesn't go in. So, we are going to back it off a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a little bit tighter than I really want it to be. And it's not really coming out like it should. So, I'm just going to adjust it till, till it kind of 
uh, drags just a little bit and that's it right there it's really a, a game of inch of trial and error and so now I'm going to put that uh, 9 16 wrench on there hopefully you can see and I'm also going to hold the centric uh, my camera mount is kind of getting in the way of me seeing uh, but hopefully you guys can see uh, what I'm doing and so I'm just going to tighten that up All right, so there's that one. And now we're gonna do the trailing edge. We're gonna tighten this one up just a hair. I had them pretty loose uh, ahead of time uh, when I was trying to fit the um, drums on and so again I'm just going to spin it until I get it to kind of drag I can definitely get this one to lock up so on the trailing edge the brake uh, pad starts a lot further down and so I'm just going to use that flashlight to kind of pick up where it where it starts. And it's right about there. Again, eight thousandths. Yep. And I got it too tight right now. There you go. It's really too tight right there. And so that's pretty good right there. And so we're going to tighten that up. Ah. So we're just going to check that, make sure that didn't move while we were tightening it up. It did a little bit. I'm not real happy about that. So we're going to back that up a little bit. Mosquito. Another one. These guys don't ever take a day off, I'll tell you that much. And this is just dragging in there. Next is the bottom. So I'm going to use this offset wrench here. Again, I probably already have these loosened up pretty good. Oh yeah, I do. So I'm going to tighten it down. And then open it up. Alright, so... Uh, my centrics have, uh, uh, well, these are actually anchor pins, uh, have a little um, notch on them. And so the manual says that to start with, you're supposed to have them both uh, pointing to each other. And then from there, you take a quarter inch side and you turn up to adjust it. And again, we're just trying to get it to kind of lock up. 
Oh yeah. That's good right there. All right. So now we're going to use the five thousandths. So we're going to pull that one out. There it is. And again, use our flashlight. Find the edge. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. And so we're going to use quarter and the offset three uh, quarter. Okay. All right. So again, we want to spin up, the wrench up. So we hear Here it kind of dragging. Again, we're going to use the flashlight. Just to use that spot. Where the uh, where the pad starts. It's pretty good right there. Eh, not really. Needs a little bit. kind of dragging on the back edge a lot better right there and that's what I want to hear so I'm going to take my three quarter again put my quarter on there make sure not to move it And tighten that up. Front is the same idea, uh, but that offset is really going to make a difference uh, as there is it, it's a lot tighter on that side or on yeah on that side. So um, again, you just I had to kind of angle this uh, wrench in there to get it over the nut and uh to get it to work but it worked and uh anyway i hope that helps i appreciate y'all watching make sure to hit the subscribe and like button it's time for supper y'all take care